So this sounds like the smart thing to do for any organization to go ahead and begin the migration, but what does that migration process entail? And when I come to a partner like 08, how do you determine cost, timeline, things like that? For us, and you, you heard me talk about this earlier, but planning is really vital. Um, starting the migration process with a really in-depth inventory of all of the content that the CMS is, uh, is going to be dealing with, as well as any of those integrations uh, that are vital to your business, that's going to be super important so that you can make sure that you have a clear path, uh, even on a field by field basis, if you're going to try and do a programmatic migration, uh, to make sure that this goes smoothly for you. This process also helps you to begin the mapping kind of on the before and after version. It'll help you to ensure that you have a clear uh, map to preserving the, the link juice, so to speak, from an SEO perspective. And, and once, you, once you go through that planning process to that you're putting your project on the right path, uh, then we move into the actual development, building out the, the skeleton, the framework of the new site. Um, starting the theming process to kind of flesh out the, um, the look and feel around that skeleton. And then uh, from there, we go through a process where we create um, what are called stubs or just a blank entry for each of the pieces of content uh, to help with the migration process and allow um, the, the interlinking of content that makes websites what they are uh, significantly easier um, and then from there, you go through and you can either programmatically import uh, or manually import the individual page contents into those blank stub files, um, which, you know, then you essentially have your, your whole tree uh, from there. And then, you know, of course, throughout that process, we're, we're doing uh, testing and QA and things like that. But um, then we can begin to dig into the integrations uh, and really put all of the, the fancy parts onto the site, uh, digging into the analytics, um, you know, implementation and things like that to make sure that you have the data moving forward. That's going to allow you to, you know, make intelligent data informed decisions about your site and your marketing efforts. As far as cost and timeline go, those two are really variable uh, based on the size of the site, the complexity, the fun of the functionality, uh, and the number of integrations and the depth to which those integrations are required to, uh, you know, really hook into quadruple data. Um, these processes can run, you know, anywhere from six months up to a year plus, uh, depending on the size and complexity again. So it's really important to start minimally the planning process, like yesterday, <laughs> uh, to make sure that you're giving yourselves enough time to then actually execute on that. Uh, and again, oftentimes, because the website is such a, a central piece to your business, there are going to be factors outside of the actual project uh, that are going to need to be considered, like training folks and making sure that your new marketing pieces are aligning with, uh, you know, the future pages and the landing pages and their, their, you know, paths and things are all lining up. So it's really important to start that planning process early so that you can ensure a smooth rollout when the site is actually ready to go live.